This Friday is Paint the Rink at the Heart Center as the men's ice hockey team takes on the AIC Yellow Jackets. The Crusaders will be auctioning off special edition jerseys to support breast cancer awareness. Then, on Saturday, the Crusaders will be traveling to West Springfield to take on AIC at the Olympia Ice Center. With just four regular season games remaining, this is a key Atlantic Hockey Series. We've played AIC twice this year, and both games have been really tight. We won 3-0 here in early no uh, late November, and we won 2-0 at the beginning of January. And both games, I, I thought we control the games, but AIC is a tough team to play against. Uh, they have good players and they're very good on their power play and you have to play a structured game against them and you have to be disciplined. You don't want to get loose, you don't want to uh, take anything for granted. So it's a, it's a dangerous game. Uh, mentally you have to stay engaged and it's important to get a lead. They have a really good goalie, Alex Murray, and they have some really good forwards. So it's going to be a competitive game and like we've seen for the last month, Every game uh, at this time of year is tight. So we're expecting a one, two goal game either way. We're expecting it to come down to making, um, executing our details and making the right plays at the right time and in critical times of the game. And I don't believe this weekend's gonna be any different than that. So uh, they're two big points in the line at this time of the year. So we're, we're looking forward to the opportunity. Pink the Rink is uh, in its seventh year. Um, and it was started by Brandon Nunn, and it's something that has continued over the years. Matt Vidal, our captain, has been front and center with organizing all the events for Pink the Rink. It's our number one community service initiative for our program, and, and our team, our program, is really excited to have the opportunity uh, to spread awareness of breast cancer on Friday night and we have a number of activities that are going on to, to spread that. There's going to be opportunities to donate to the Pink Revolution. We're auctioning off game jerseys after the game to raise money for Pink Revolution. Uh, some sticks as well. So it's going to be an exciting night and certainly coincides with a really big game against AIC. So it should be a great night of hockey, a great night to raise awareness of breast cancer and a great night for everyone in attendance. Every point is critical. You look at our standings, which we try not to focus on, but there's not much separation uh, between the first place team and the sixth place team in Atlantic hockey. And, you know, as we saw last Friday night, we beat Air Force, uh, we were tied for second, and then we lost on Saturday. Now we're in fourth place. And, you know, the Air Force is two points ahead of us, RIT is one point ahead of us, but Mercyhurst is two points behind us, and Canisius is four points behind us. So everything is really tight, and if you have a good weekend, then you can find yourself really moving up the ladder. If you have a poor weekend, then you can really slip. And at this time of year, when everyone is organized, everyone's given their best effort, everyone's looking for points, it makes the games that much more meaningful and the results that much more impactful. So we're trying to go into this uh, with a mindset of playing our best hockey on Friday night, try to focus on the things that we need to do to be the best team we can be, and then try to get two points. And after Friday, then we'll focus on on Saturday. But with us, at this point in the year, it's more about the process. We're not focused on the outcomes because if you focus on the outcomes and you start looking ahead, then you lose sight of what you need to do in that particular game. So we're really breaking it down to focusing on shift by shift and then period by period. And if we put enough good shifts together and we put three periods of hockey together, then it usually will give you the outcome that you want. And, and that's really where our mindset is. And like I said, taking it one game at a time and trying not to get ahead of ourselves. And four games left, we have to really focus on getting as many points as we can to get to where we want to be at the end of these four games. For tickets to Friday's game, be sure to call one 844 cross or visit GoHolyCross.com slash tickets. Friday will be a very special night, so be sure to come out and support your Holy Cross Crusaders and wear pink. Reporting for GoHolyCross.com, I'm Katherine Rutter. Thank you.